According to the youngster who won a Pulitzer Prize special citation for her recording of George Floyd's murder, her uncle died in a police encounter. Darnella Frazier, 18, posted on Facebook Tuesday, Minneapolis cops killed my uncle. Nothing feels real, according to NBC News, stressing that police taken an innocent life trying to apprehend someone else. A squad car carrying an officer and a canine was heading north through an intersection around 12.30 a.m. Tuesday, pursuing a carjacked vehicle suspected of being involved in multiple robberies, when it collided with a westbound vehicle, according to police spokesman John Elder of the Minneapolis Star Tribune. According to WCCO, a southbound vehicle was then struck. Its driver, as well as the police, were treated at a hospital and released. The canine was likewise unharmed. However the other motorists succumbed to his injuries and died in the hospital. A wrecked SUV with its driver's side crushed sat next to a freshly overturned bus shelter, according to the Tribune, as well as a minivan with a crumpled front end, with airbags deployed. One of the vehicles struck by the squad car looked to have deboned right into the bus stop, according to a witness. The dead was not identified by the police, but Frazier identified him as Lanil Lamont Frazier. Another black man died at the hands of the police. She wrote, inquiring as to why cops had engaged in a high-speed chase down a residential street. According to the Tribune, the Minnesota State Patrol arrived to the site and is investigating. According to Elder, the police department will also initiate an internal investigation into whether the squad car used its emergency lights and siren as required by regulation. The wanted man was still on the loose Tuesday afternoon. The following is what she had written on her Facebook page. I honestly can't believe I'm making this post right now, I'm so hurt, nothing feels real. I woke up to the most horrible news, broken heart, Minneapolis police killed my uncle, broken heart, my uncle. Another black man lost his life in the hands of the police. I asked my mom several times he died? I couldn't accept what I was hearing and still can't. Some things just take time to process. I'm still in shock and it haven't fully hit me yet, I broke down in tears, disappointed face, I was hoping it was a dream, but it's not and this is reality. Minneapolis police has cost my whole family a big loss, today has been a day full of heartbreak and sadness, pensive face. We went to the spot he was killed at and put beautiful flowers and candles, but even that's not enough to bring him back, sweating face. It's not fair how the police can just go around killing people, why are you doing a high-speed chase on a residential road? Weary face, weary face, you took an innocent life trying to catch someone else. I don't know how to feel. I was just with you at the beach, if I would have known that would be my last time seeing you, I would have hugged you so much longer, told you I love you way harder, I love you so much. Please pray for my family, praying gesture. Sleepy face, his name is Laniel Lamont Frazier. Uncle I love you, two hearts, it's just hard for me to accept I won't see you again.